the uh, clinical uh, a case uh, to be discussed today is uh, a patient with uh, ARDS secondary to pneumonia who's been intubated and placed on mechanical ventilation with uh, volume controlled uh, mode of uh, ventilation tidal volume of 600 ml inspire time of 1.5 oh, seconds and respiratory rate of 18 his PEEP is 8 so the first thing that uh, you need to look at when you analyze this uh, ventilator graphics uh, uh, is uh, to go with the uh, problems that we have in terms of uh, ventilatory management of this patient who has ARDS so the first uh, problem that we have is that his uh, plateau pressure is elevated and the value is exactly at uh, 38. This is too high of uh, a plateau pressure for someone who has uh, uh, ARDS. The second problem that we have is look at the tidal volume that is 600 and if I tell you that this patient's ideal body weight is 70 kilos um, and he would need to be uh, ventilated with only 4 to 6 ml per kg of ideal body weight. The third problem that we have here is that uh, his PEEP is very low for his FiO2, he's on 100% FiO2, his saturation is 90% and that PEEP is very low for that. And the last problem is look at his driving pressure. The driving pressure is the plateau pressure which is 38 minus the uh, uh, PEEP which is 8 that gives you a very high uh, driving pressure of 30. So in order to correct all this, let's start by giving him the appropriate tidal volume uh, for patients with uh, ARDS according to protective lung strategy. So a patient who has ideal body weight of uh, uh, 70 kilos, I would start with 6 ml per kg and that would give you 420 tidal volume. So if I go down on the tidal volume, let's see what happened to the plateau pressure. So you can see the plateau now is well below the, uh, uh, the previous level. And now it is at uh, 29. The aim is to have it uh, below uh, 30, better below 28. And also we were able to go down on the uh, driving pressure. However, the plateau, the tidal volume now is lower, and of course, we were decreasing the management ventilation for this patient. I do have time for uh, in expiration here to go up on the rate, and I'm going to go up on the rate also to <clears throat> 24 or 22. To compensate for that decreased tidal volume. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to get his PEEP up. And there are different ways of doing the uh, appropriate PEEP for the patient, but uh, here I'm going to just go with the uh, FiO2 PEEP table. For FiO2 of 100%, uh, percent, the PEEP should be at least uh, uh, 16 or 18. So let's go the, up gradually on the PEEP uh, to, let's just make it at this point, 14 and 16. So we have a PEEP of 16 now. Of course, when I go up on the PEEP, what will happen is the plateau pressure is increased again. And you can take a look here on the data and you will see that the plateau pressure now is 37 again. And this is injurious for the lung. So we would not be able to tolerate that. And at that time, you are obliged to go down further on the tidal volume to decrease that uh, plateau pressure. Notice that when we went up to on the beep to 18 or 16, I'm sorry, the uh, dri <clears throat> driving pressure for the patient is now uh, 37 minus 16 is uh, 21, still elevated also. And that's another reason why the tidal volume has to go down. So let's give 4 ml for this patient. So that would be 4 multiplied by uh, 7, 28. Okay, so 280. If I go down on the tidal volume, I'm 
decrease in the minute ventilation for this patient. So let's go up on the rate also. So we'll go up on the rate to 28, and then we'll check blood gases. So now with this, you can see that the plateau pressure is uh, <coughs> at 30. His PEEP is at uh, uh, 16. His driving pressure is 30 minus 16 is 14. We prefer driving pressure to be less than uh, uh, 15 if possible. <coughs> And you can see that we have a little bit of uh, dynamic hyperinflation that is because of uh, not enough time for expiration. I may go down a little bit on the inspiratory time knowing that this may uh, cause some oxygenation uh, issues, but if the saturation is above 90 or 89 percent, I'm uh, happy with that. So the dynamic hyperinflation is eliminated I'm uh, having enough uh, inspiratory time here. Look at the area under the curve for the oxygenation. So the protective lung strategy is fulfilled here. Let's go through the elements of protective lung strategy one after the other. Number one, the plateau pressure should be less than 30. And in my case here, it is exactly 30. Number two, the tidal volume should be uh, four to six ml. And in our case here, it is four ml or kg. Number three, the patient should have appropriate PEEP and we selected PEEP of 16 for this patient to recruit uh, his lungs. And number four, the driving pressure should be less than uh, 15 and in our case here it was 14. This way we fulfilled the uh, elements of uh, protective lung strategy. Of course, ABGs need to be uh, obtain on this patient to make sure that his uh, ventilation is adequate <clears throat> and in cases uh, that uh, the ventilation is not adequate you may allow for permissive hypercapnia and compensate with bicarbonate infusion. Thank you very much.